Okay, so good day to everyone. This will be our third video discussion for the subject accommodation operations and management. So again, before I begin, um, a few words. Uh, I, it is always recommended that it, it is always recommended that you have the module that we are talking about in front of you so that you can take down notes and. Um, I, I understand that the video discussions might be lengthy. Medyo mahaba on the ba medyo mahaba siya minsan umabot ng like past 30 minutes, minsan umabot pa ng isang oras. Uh, so what I want to say here is you don't want you, you don't have to pressure yourselves na kailangan matapos din ito itong itong video na ito within a span of um very few minutes or very few hours left. Uh, I want you guys to take some pauses, take some breaks. Um, pwede nyo i-pause muna sa lit yung mga videos. If you can uh, see naman din, in the time frame, meron dyan yung mga time marks natin, mga minute marks. Wherein, pwede kayo mag-pause for a while pag mabot na kayo dun sa punto na yun. Or, or you can uh, have a break, continue the video in, in another day or in another time. Study at your own pace. Kasi, yun nga, no, pag nag-aaral kayo ng pinipressure yung sarili nyo na kailangan nyo matapos yung video na ito, parang kinakram nyo lang lahat ng information sa utak ninyo and hindi siya ganun magsistay na matagal. Uh, so, yun. Um, if, you, if you'll study, please do it at your most convenient time where you find you, you are comfortable. Um, uh, preferably a good studying environment, well lit, and everything else pero yeah take care of yourselves guys uh, you don't have to pressure yourselves into memorizing stuff what you need is to understand no? intindihin natin okay so without further ado let's begin uh, if, if, if you will I, I, I got I got to scan your modules and seeing upon it puro siya proseso no May, may mga step-by-step -step process on how we do reservations, on how we do um, check-ins or housekeeping procedures. Napakadaming procedures ito. Pero uh, one thing that I was able to realize when working in the field is lahat ng bagay na matututunan ninyo mga proseso ng yan, yan, housekeeping, ng uh, ng, ng hotel, uh, front desk staff, yung mga ginagawa na lang step by step process, aaralin nyo din yan pag kayo ay nandun na sa hotel. Kasi each hotel has their different um, different processes, no? different different ways how to do things. So, balang araw, kayo ay train din. train kayo ng mga managers, train kayo ng mga uh, supervisors, ng mga senior staff doon. And, yun, you, you will still get to learn all of those procedures. Pero, one thing that I find it hard during my time, during my during my training days, I, I find it hard to master guest relations or simply to do guest relations. Maybe because I'm, I'm not yet um, a master of my own emotions. Pero, um... Minsan mahirap talaga no? pag merong mga certain scenarios in, in the guest service. Pero I was glad to have that kind of training. I was able to, to learn how to properly pacify guests, how to properly uh, say the right words pag sila ko complain and be able to give them uh, the wow factor na tinatawag natin or yung uh, the reason why we want uh, to give out the best possible guest service experience to them. So without further ado, let's begin with this module. Uh, module number 8 tayo. Only for this video discussion. We won't talk about any other modules that we have. Uh, let's proceed. Okay. Guest relations. Customer satisfaction is basic to the success of every business. Uh, with increasing competition and heightened customer sensitivity to service, providing a level of service that satisfies guests is regarded as one of the top concerns facing the lodging industry today. 
uh, guest satisfaction. It is always top priority in, in every hospitality and tourism industry establishments to, 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 to achieve guest satisfaction. Pero uh, when I was taught back then in college, one of the things that I won't really forget for the rest of my life, do say sa kong prof, sabi niya, it is never enough that we stop at guest satisfaction. Or, the, or it is never enough that we uh we yun, we achieve guest satisfaction in, in our in, in our service kasi satisfaction is merely an expectation may ina-expect na bagay yung isang isang customer natin and once na na achieve your expectations na yun, they are satisfied and we as uh hospitality and tourism industry uh <coughs> professionals we don't want to stop at merely at merely achieving the expectations of our guest what we want to do is to go beyond guest satisfaction to go beyond the expectations of our guests and this is what he called guest delight uh i know it may sound cheesy or or uh, weird no pero guest delight ang tawag sa kanya and it is when we achieve guest delight that we know we exceeded the expectations of our guests. And that should be our main priority. Uh, exceeding, the, exceeding the expectations of our guests. Exceeding the, uh, yeah, the expectations. No? Uh, being satisfied is not enough. We have to do, um, we have to go the extra mile and exceed those expectations and have guest delight intolerable service is never enough this is an, an, an unacceptable uh, behavior in the hospitality and tourism industry intolerable service parang wala kayong pakialam sa guest ninyo uh, maraming ganito siguro nangyayari sa mga uh, underpaid na mga staff no? so you have to really pay attention to your staff Pero yun, uh, intolerable service is never acceptable in the hospitality and tourism industry. Even adequate service is still not enough. Uh, adequate service is meaning nito, you, you gave out the bare minimum. No? Pasok tayo sa relationship mo na, kunwari. Uh, bare minimum ang iyong binibigay. And it is still not enough to achieve guest delight. No? Uh simply doing the mer the bare minimum um parang ibig sabihin ito binibigyan mo ng less importance yung ano yung guest mo yung customer mo so he or she should feel na he or she is well taken care of that is why we always want to do professional service uh meaning nito is <coughs> you give out you give out the best possible the best possible quality service that you can give to your guests. Because at the end of the day, we want our guests to feel that they are well taken care of in our hotel, and in that way, it will uh, it will it will attract other 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 people based from word of mouth marketing, or it will uh, yun magi influence siya. It will influence. Um, repeat guests and repeat guests are always uh they're they are always oh, you know uh, acceptable in our field yun yung talagang hanap natin regulars tinatawag natin so one of the things or or ways on how you can achieve uh how you can achieve guest delight or a a service that is beyond the expectations or satisfaction of our guest one thing you can do is to look neat and well good. <coughs> Hindi naman pwede na mukha kang madumi, no? Pag ikaw ay magtatrabaho in this industry, you should always look neat. You should always look clean. Um, professional, no? Neat and well groomed. So, bawal dito yung mga magugulong buhok, yung buhok na uh, hindi, hindi ganun kalinis tingnan. And you should you should always take care of your physical appearance, no? 
uh, one of the things that uh, one of the things that are the reasons why I don't want to pursue a career in the front desk kasi okay naman sa akin maging food service attendant kasi it's it's still related to food which I love so <clears throat> minsan kasi madami yung nangyayaring mga issues dyan sa front desk pero yun y- you have to always look uh, neat and well groomed so that you will look fresh and presentable to our guests and remember that once they have a glimpse of your appearance of your appearance you're all you're already creating your first impression to the guest and first impressions last you always remember that uh, unang unang kita pa lang niya sa iyo unang pag pagtingin pa lang niya sa iyo he or she is already creating this first impression of you So you always want your first impression to be good. And how will you do it? You have to look neat and well-groomed. Next is give guests your immediate and undivided attention. This is very, very, very important. Uh, kailangan maramdaman ni guests na you are listening. No? Importante talaga yung skill na yan, yung listening. Pahikinig sa tao. And when, when, when you give this undivided attention kasi with the guest, the guest will feel that he or she is heard naririnig siya <coughs> hindi binabale wala yung concern niya and napapakinggan siya ibig sabihin may halaga and that is what we want our guests to feel whenever we interact with them we want them to feel that in in your presence they are special um uh, special ang tingin mo sa kanila So you give your undivided attention to them, and yeah, in that way, it will always, uh, it will it will always be a good thing. Pag nararamdaman ni guest na special siya. Next is show pride in your job and your hotel. Uh, simply put, this means you should be confident with who you are and with your job. Dung ako noon dati na tatrabaho ako sa isang five star na hotel o oh, na hotel. Uh, I think I took pride no working working in the field. Um pag nakita mo kasi yung work environment mo na napaka-elegant no with 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 the sh- with clean no, f- clean floors, uh elegant lightings, the ambiance is really classic, it's really it's really refined. It gives you this uh kind of pride na wow, I work in this very beautiful establishment. I have to I have to work accordingly, no? According to the ambience that is the that the that the environment is uh, exuding, no? So, nakakatuwa. It, it it gives me confidence to work in the field. Kaya I took pride, no? Kahit sabi natin na uh, busboy ka lang, ganyan or food service attendant ka lang, still you were able to work at one of the prestigious hotels that is known worldwide, no? Fairmont and Raffles, the brand of Fairmont and Raffles. So, so, yun, it took pride. And if you took pride of what your job, if you are confident with what you are doing, it will show up in your behavior, in your characteristics, in your, the, the way how you interact with your guests, mapapakita yan, lalabas yan. So, yun. Hindi lang sa hotel ito gumagana. Also, if you will, if you are, if you have this aspiration to become travel agent some days, someday or flight attendants, uh, same thing. You're you're also giving quality service to the guests. No, parang hotel lang din siya. Pero in 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 a different form. You are you are now riding an aircraft, and you have guests to take care of, which is the passenger in the flights. So you have to 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 take pride of the airline that you are representing, whether it's a Bupak, Air Asia, or Philippine Airlines, or kaya man ay palaren na uh, magkaroon ng career abroad, maybe a different um, airline industry, Etihad, um, Ana, so everything else. <laughs> so yun, show pride in your job and to your hotel or to your establishment. Guests greet guests warmly and with a smile. This will uh, go with a positive, with with a clean look and being well groomed. Greet guests warmly and with a smile. Kasi connected ito into creating the first impression. 
if if you greet the guest with a smile he before siya magsalita uh, it will make him feel welcome no so yeah greet guest warmly and with a smile actively listen to your guests to the sabi ko dito give your guests your immediate and undivided attention so that they can feel they will they will feel that they are heard na naririnig yung mga concerns nila uh, maintain eye contact with the guest this is also connected with actively listening to your guest and giving guests your immediate and undivided attention kasi same thing it's it, it, parang you're you, you're trying to make the guest feel that yung concern niya is valid yung mga nararamdaman niya is valid so if you give her undivided attention to him or her habang siya ay nag-voice out ng kanyang concern you are making him making making him or her feel na valid ang kanilang feelings na naririnig mo ang kanilang concerns and you will try your best to fix it and protect guest privacy, offer personal assistance, take care of guest needs, <clears throat> um, or offer suggestions. And these are all the things that uh, that stems into this one. Give guests your immediate and undivided attention. Let me let you guys watch a specific video here. Uh, gusto ko mapa makilan ninyo kung ano yung example ng isang uh, magandang guest service or guest service na mag exceed doon sa expectation ng mga guests natin which will um, let us achieve guest delight so let's play does a typical day look like? Yeah, typical day, it's um, in the morning. I'm, I'm driving a bicycle to the, to the work to, to start the, the engine for me. After this, I go to every department, um, have, a, have a chat what's going on, what's is everything fine. Something happened in the evening if, if I left the hotel before the day. Um, greet every employee. That's it's very important for me to go in contact with each of the ladies and gentlemen from the hotel um, to have, have a look if there anything I have to fix or I have to see what going through. After the meeting greet with, with all the ladies and gentlemen, we have the meeting with all department heads, all management, um, to have a focus on this day, what's happened, what's, what's coming up. Um, there are some points what we have focus, take focus on this day. And yeah, after this, I'm, I'm prepared for the guests and I'm waiting for the request from the guests so to fulfill everything what's happened. So I don't have a checklist what I'm going through. So I'm just waiting for the request from the guest and make it more special the day uh, for, for each of them. So what's the difference between a receptionist, a concierge, and a guest service manager? Um, that's a difficult question. <laughs> the, the concierge is the specialist if you need some tickets. If you have a concert what's fully booked out and um, you need tickets. So we have five Clédor concierge. And with this person, I know I can have everything. Um, then the front desk manager is responsible for this team, for the check-in that's obviously going in, in this part. And I'm between over this department to say, okay, it's working with the telephone operator, it's working with the club lounge, concierge, that we have all the information, what we need. We have a group arriving, when, at what time the luggage will come, the rooms, at what time should be ready, to give the information to the housekeeping team, and then the concierge, that everybody's on time, uh, on track, and we have all the information, and the guests, um, normally you don't see me, so that's the good news for, guests, for me. <laughs> but who do you report to? My boss is a um, rooms division manager. And so what's the most challenging part? You, you, a guest comes up to you and uh, you want to wow the guest, you want a special moment to, to share with the guest. Ito yung sinasabi natin, uh, exceeding, um, exceeding guest expectation. And you want to wow the guest, no? sinasabi niya, and achieving guest delight. And you don't have any information from the guest. And then you have to listen directly and very, very um, close to the guest. What is special for him, in which moment the light from the guest is going on. And find this moment and make this special for, for those guests. So. so can you tell me an example of a wow story? The, in the past was wow very story. interesting. Um, a family departure from the hotel, nothing, nothing special, but they left uh, the teddy from the, from the uh, 
child. Um, later on, they called us and said, you found it. Of course, we found it. It's an easy way to, to send the, the tail just back. That's every hotel will do this. Um, we make pictures with this one and all over the hotel, in the bar area, in the pool area, in the kitchen, to tell a story about what's happened in this time was the teddy bear in the hotel. Send it with the pictures to the family, some candies inside and write a letter with all employees, all ladies and gentlemen will sign over there and say, no, you have it back, but it was experience for him to, to join the whole, whole time. So what do you think are the skills to have to be a good uh, service manager? I think you have to be on this position, you have to be open-minded and that's um, difficult to understand and um, to find a person who fits directly in this position and um, don't say that's, that's my job and that's not my job. For me there's not a possibility to say that it's not my job. Everything is my job. Everything comes up, it's my job and I can connect it with every department. It, I know how it works behind the scenes and put it everything together. And that's, um, I think, the most important. And every should, hotel should have a guest service manager. Yeah. So when I when I watching watching this video, really brings back a lot of memories working in the field. Nakakabistad pala, kahit nakakapagod siya. Okay. So. I don't know if you were able to understand. No, uh, I, I thought that the captions might might help us in understanding the person who's talking. Pero minsan minsan kasi ang layo ng sinasabi niya doon sa caption. Kaya uh, I turned it off at a, uh, a few minutes before the video ended. So yun. Uh, I hope you understood what he was trying to say. Sabi niya. Ang pinakamahirap na part ng kanyang trabaho as guest service manager is to wow the guests. No, in if you will, if you guys will have a chance to work in big hotels, no, such hotels mga five star, uh, four star hotels or mga luxury hotels natin. Get the guests that are arriving. Uh, they will give out a list of preferences, a list of things that they want to uh, to experience in the hotel you know, while they are staying. So, ikaw pa lang as the guest service manager or uh, the one who is responsible as, as the leader of the front desk department or the rooms division manager, ang role mo ngayon is to know each and every little detail of our guests that are arriving, that, or that, are, that is or are arriving. Dapat alam natin yung mga detalye na gusto nila para hindi na nila kailangan pang hingin yung mga bagay na iyon pag sila ay magsistay na sa hotel. And that is how you do a quality service. That is how you exceed guest expectation and give guest delight. Bago pa hingin ng guest natin yung kanyang kailangan Kailangan alam mo na kagad yun at kailangan maibigay mo na sa kanya bago pa niya kailanganin. One of the things, that's one of the things that uh, the the uh, the captain waiter who trained me way back working in the, you know, in, in, in Spiral Buffet, the buffet in, you know, in Fairmont and Raffles, sabi sa akin ng captain waiter, alam mo pa, kailangan pag tayo nagsisilbi sa mga guests, Bago pa nila kailanganin yung mga kailangan nila, alam na natin kung anong kailangan niya at maibigay mo na kagad iyon sa kanya bago pa niya kailanganin. So, how are you going to achieve this? How are you going to how are you going to achieve this? Yung uh, yung exceeding guest expectations, no? Giving out guest delight simply, yan by giving your guests your immediate and undivided attention, uh, listening to your guests, no, and actually observing. One of the things that uh, one of the skills that is essential, talaga, is observing people. Kaya ako ngayon I, I I am fond of observing people, minsan, and yun maybe because I was trained that way working in the industry, pero yun. For example, ito nag isang scenario doon sa ano sa uh, sa buffet namin. One of one of the nights that I was in dinner duty, no? dinner dinner ang aking shift. 
PM shift. Uh, while, while serving a group of uh, a family, no? uh, so nakatawa sila tingnan. Uh, they are a family and each one of them got to go to the ice cream stall that is located in our buffet selection. And nagsikuha sila ng ice cream. Yan, binil, sinaserve sila nung, um, nung chef namin doon na naka-assign sa cold area. Binigyan niya ng ice cream yung mga yung pamilya, yung mga bata, yung matatanda. Pero when, when, when I observe them getting their ice cream cups, tinignan ko ngayon yung table nila. And their table was a mess. Ang domain ng table nila, wala silang maayos, malilinis na silverwares. Lahat ng spoon, fork, knives nila, kalat na, or madunumi. So, even before they reach, when they go back to their tables, I tried my best to immediately clean their tables, no? Especially those plates that are, that looks like they're finished, no, eating. And they can always get a new plate naman din. So, I cleared out their tables and I gave... Um, dessert spoons to each to each uh, chair to each to each um, person who who got ice cream even before they asked no? they didn't ask us to clean they didn't ask me to clean their tables I didn't they didn't ask me to give them some spoons but when they got back to their tables the table is already clean it looks um, you know clean to 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 relax with to have some ice cream Walang mga debris na oops, tumilim. Walang mga debris na um, makalat and whatnot. And meron silang uh, clean silverwares to work. Right. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, guys. So, balik tayo dun sa, ano, sa discussion. Even beyond nga, even before they asked for it, nandun na kagad ako. And while, isa pa sa mga scenarios, while, um, while, I am at, while I'm attending to the area that I was assigned, nakita ko na may isang table na paubos na yung nasa baso nila, yung glass, yung water nila. So I went up there to their tables and asked if they would want to have um, a sample of our beverages. Kasi makamamaya, gusto nila tumikim ng mga isa bang produkto namin, mga juices. Nagkalok ako ng fresh juice namin, nagkalok ako ng coffee, nagkalok ako ng tea. And when I went there, I, I, when, when I was asking them for beverages, I'm already refilling their water. And in that way, kung, meron man, kung ayaw man nilang kumuha, meron na silang pwedeng inumin bago pa nila tanongin sa akin kung pwede na lang silang kumuha ng water. So, yun. Uh, you always observe the people, the, the guests that, uh, that, is, that are assigned to you, that are you are currently taking care of, and listening to them, actively listening to your guests, to their needs and their wants, observing them, and yun. Exceeding guest expectation. Proceed tayo. Importance of handling guest complaints correctly. Ayan. Ito yung, ano, ito yung mahirap. No? Yung, wag naman tayo dito sa ensuring guest safety and security. This is, um, you guys can uh, take a quick glance over here pero I want to give focus na dito sa importance of handling guest complaints correctly ayan I can't help but to smile <laughs> we're talking about uh, guest complaints and working in the industry you will really have your you, you will have your fair share of experience with the irate guests yung tinatawag namin mga guests na, na, na naiirita irate naiirita sila. Nakakairita <laughs> saka naiirita sila. Ayan. And you will have your fair share of experience. And once you have those experience, looking back, nakakatuwa na lang din how people can really overreact, no? Over lit, over, over things. Once they got to feel that they are superior over you, 
ayan, yung pride nila, yung ego. Nakikita mo on action how how a person's pride and ego will will burst through the roof. So, yun, nakakatawa lang na ayan, naalala ko kasi Sige, I will give out this lesson while I'm I'm taking out some experience of working in the industry. So, I told you guys that I, I worked in Shake Shack, Philippines, the pioneer uh, branch in Central Square in BGC for quite some time. And way back then, no, yung nagsimula yung Shake Shack, it was crazy. There are a lot of people lining up. Uh, lining up for hours just to have a taste of our burgers, have a taste of our products. And sobrang busy ng araw na yun, no? Every day, millions and millions and millions of sales ang report namin. And now, um, one of those very busy days, I believe it is a Sunday, Sunday lunch, uh, Sunday lunch. And of course, pag Sunday lunch, maraming tao, maraming nakapila, ganyan, especially the mall that we are located is, the, the, the mall that we are located at is a family mall. So, ang daming pumupunta na mga family from different um, different places, no? different cities. And there was this one one father. The father with his son. Walang nanay, walang daughters, dalawa lang sila. Father and son. Kumakain, kakain sila ng burger. And back then, I was assigned as the cashier. And as the cashier, one of the very essential skills is guest relations. Kasi Shake Shack Philippines is this kind kind of kind of establishment that serves sort of like a fast food quality, uh, fast fast food way of service. Pero the food that we are giving out is uh, is of high quality, no? It's para siyang fine dining na uh, fast food, ganyan. Kasi we also offer wine, we offer um, alcoholic beverages, we offer sparkling water to our guests. So, yun, para siyang medyo bougie na, na fast food. So, the people who who eat there are, yun talaga, mga mayayaman, no? without Without a doubt. May aman sila kasi mahal ng mga produkto namin. So, okay, going back to the story. Um, guest relations is very important. The, especially in Shake Shack kasi they want to make, they, they want us to make our guests feel that we are a place of excitement, we are a place of joy, we na tayo ay lagi kami nakangit eh, lagi kami masaya lagi kami nakikipagdiroan sa mga guests namin ayan nakikipagchikahan kami sa mga guests namin guest relations talaga and while i was conversing with the father ayan sabi niya na nagta-travel sila from different to different countries nagsabi siya na gusto niya yung burger niya with grilled onions and ako as as the cashier I know how the kitchen, I know how every operation in the back of the house and in front of the house works. Sabi ko sa kanya, Sir, wala po kaming option. We don't, you don't offer the option to have your onions grilled. What we have is fresh onions, fresh yellow onions na uh, sweet and subtle with spice. Sabi ko lang sa kanya. And naging nagalit siya, furious siya. Sabi niya, Bakit hindi nyo ginagawa yan dito? Eh kung sa ibang shake shack na napuntahan namin, ginagawa nila yan. Bakit kayo hindi? Sabi ko, uh, Sir, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry but we cannot offer, uh, we, we don't offer our onions grilled. What we can offer you is um, is, is, a, is a fresh onion, fresh fresh ring, fresh ring onion rings with that, that are very sweet. And subtle and spice. And if you want to have a smoky flavor, we have cherry peppers. Mga maanghang na, na, na mga sili, ganyan. Parang pickled peppers siya. To give that smoky flavor for your burger. Sabi niya, hindi. Alam mo, ang bobo nyo, sabi niya. Call you. Tanong doon na yung manager sa likod ko. Nandiyan na yung supervisor namin. Nandiyan na yung assistant manager sa likod ko. And... At some point, sabi niya, sige, pawa ko na lang doon sa assistant manager niya. 
Sir, we're very sorry, but we really cannot offer your the grilled onions that you are requesting because uh, it will create cross contamination in our grills. Our grill po kasi ginagamit na po namin siya for fresh meat products. And uh, if if you will combine fresh meat products with raw ingredients such as onions, it may create a cross contamination, and that is what we are avoiding it po. Uh, what we can offer you is yun, alternatives. Na offer siya alternatives and sabi niya, if, if you want, we can have your patties doubled na lang po to to um, to rectify or to, to to minimize your disappointment with our service. Ganyan, offer siya. Nag, uh, she tried to say the right words to, to, to the guest. Um, first, she acknowledges. The, she acknowledged the you know, the concern. Na, yun nga sabi niya, we understand that in other branches of Shake Shack in the world they do this. Pero here po, we are just starting up with our operations and we are doing things step by step. And we are just doing things on how Shake Shack would want us to do here it here in the Philippines. So yun, she she acknowledged the. Uh, the guests, the guest who is shouting na, sobrang galit na galit na siya, minumura na kami, sabi niya, bobo nyo, mga gago, sabi niya. So, very irate na talaga siya, and ako sabi ko, mm, okay, sige, <laughs> kasi yung manager na namin yung kumakausap, sabi niya, na kaya kayo nandito sa ganito ang trabaho, kaya wala kayo sa ibang bansa, dahil dyan sa mga pinagagawa nyo, di ba? Hindi ko talaga makakalimutan yun, kasi sabi ko, Really, boss, ang kaharap mo. My manager was a graduate of La Salle University. I was a graduate of UST. There were other graduates there from big universities. Meron sa Lyceum of the Philippines. Meron sa Ateneo. There, there are a lot of profession. There are a lot of um, people there who, yun, who were graduates. No, hindi naman college graduates. There are there are others from state colleges, others from different universities, different colleges. We are all professionals in the field. No? So hindi niya kami basta basta pwede maliitin ng ganun ganun lang. So yun. And if if I will uh, share to you the step by step process of how my manager did it. First is she acknowledged the concern of the guest. She made the guest feel that yung concern niya is heard by saying that, sir, we understand your concern to have your onions grilled. By doing that, you are acknowledging the concern of our guest. You are accepting that this concern is valid. And once the guest feel that their concern is valid, unti-unting magpa-pacify sila. And you have to say the right words. <coughs> You understand, you acknowledge your concern, and then instead of reacting in a negative way, you try your best to, um, you try your best to help the guest or the person understand your side of things. Parang sinashare mo sa kanila yung perspective ng 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 business mo, ng operations mo. Doon sa example natin after my manager acknowledge the concern of our guest she said or or she explained why we cannot do it in our hotel no? or, or in our restaurant she told the the guest the irate guest that our grills are only for meat products if we will mix in um, raw vegetables there might be a cross contamination between fresh raw meat with fresh raw ingredients fresh raw vegetables so yun and she also explained that they are we, we as a restaurant is just starting up and we are still following the protocols of Shake Shack International uh, Shake Shack International standards of operating in the Philippines kung ano man, kung ano naman kasi yung trinain sa amin yun lang naman yung, kailang, yung pwede namin gawin so yun, maybe sabi niya, maybe in the future, nag-offer siya ngayon, 
ng alternatives. Sabi niya, maybe in the future we can have grilled onions, but for now, what we can do uh, to satisfy your cravings is this. Ang lista siya ng mga possible options. Uh, Pano niya nga, nag-offer siya na double na lang yung patty para uh, matry niya na yung juiciness ng aming burgers. And in the end, uh, the, the father just went out after receiving, uh, after ordering up in after ordering up in my cashier stand, POS. Yan, tinanggap na lang niya. Na, okay. Wala siya magagawa eh. So, yun. Importance of handling guest complaints correctly. Alam nyo, nakakatuwa. Kasi, ako minatahan ko na yung, minatahan ko na yung anak niya, yung son. Minatahan ko na rin siya. And, you know what? I saw them some other time. Siguro mga months na rin after, or ilang weeks na rin after. Nakita ko ulit silang dalawa. Together with, I think, the sister of the ano of the sister of yun the son that he was with back then and yung anak niya yung umorder <laughs> parang yun kasi ako ulit yung nagtransact eh yung anak niya yung umorder pero naalala ko siya and it was it just it just went smoothly no uh, mabilis yung transaction na nagkaro kami ng magandang exchange ng anak niya and that's it at the end of the day even Uh, the the way how we pacified his anger back then, the way how we handled uh, his outburst back then, hindi namin siya pinahiya. Uh, we, we tried our best to let him feel that his concern is heard. And we offer alternatives immediately. We also explained our side of things. And beside getting angry at us, bumalik pa rin sila. And yun kasi yung... Gusto natin mangyari no? with, with our guests. Gusto natin bumalik sila sa ating establishment. Mapa-hotel yan, mapa-restaurant man yan, mapa-airline man yan. No? Lahat ng aspeto ng hospitality and tourism industry. Ang gusto natin ay repeat guests. Kasi sa repeat guests tayo uh, titingin ng ating free marketing strategy which is word of mouth. And sa uh, repeat guest tayo magkakaroon ng regulars. And pag mas maraming regulars tayo, mas mabubuhay ang ating business. So, tandaan. Um, tandaan natin ng maigi yung acknowledge, understand our guest. And after acknowledging, explain your side of things. Uh, if you must give an apology, due to the lack of or due to the negligence of your staff you should always give out an apology and you try also your best to explain in a good way the side of things on your operations and in in a way that is pacifying no hindi yung aggregating pa the guests you, you you try your best to pacify to to lower the the anger issues of the guest and then after Uh, pacifying the guest by saying sorry or by explaining your side of things, you offer an alternative or you offer something that can complement the amount of stress that the complaint has caused the guest. Halimbawa, sobra siyang inis sa inyong service, sobrang nanggalaiti yung sa kanyang uh, galit, pwede mo siyang bigyan ng mga valuable or luxury services or luxury add-ons in your in your package para maramdaman niya na okay they are trying their best to to win me again and of course the guests will will feeling ko naman tatanggapin nila yon no free stuff is always not a bad idea not a bad thing so yon handling guest complaints there's a there's a video here i want you guys to watch pero siguro panoorin na lang natin to Uh, bibigay ko na lang si inyo, isesend ko na lang itong video link doon sa ating GCR post. Pero yun, for now, uh, I think we can end at this time. Medyo mahaba na rin siguro yung aring naging discussion. So, before I end this discussion, tandaan nyo palagi guys, no, that you should always 
give your guest your immediate and undivided attention. Actually, not just in guest in 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 working, no. Kahit sa inyo, sa inyo mga relationships, sa inyo family, sa inyo friends, sa inyo mga loved ones, special or, or special ah uh, someone niyo, special others. Giving out your your immediate and undivided attention will always give this implication na you are listening. You are actively listening to the people that you are chatting with. And in that way, the people that you are talking to, yung mga kinakausap ninyo, yung mga pinapakinggan ninyo, they will appreciate that you are giving your undivided attention and you are actively listening to their um, to, the, to the things that they are trying to say. And they will appreciate it and it will make them feel special. And yun yung, yun yung palagi natin gustong mangyari sa ating mga guests. Tumalik tayo sa trabaho ulit. Sa ating mga guests, kailangan maramdaman nila na special sila na ina-exceed natin yung guest expectation. We go beyond guest satisfaction and we try to achieve guest delight. So, with that being said, guys, thank you so much. Sana may natutunan kayo. And throughout midterms, we're going to practice customer service. We're going to practice guest relations. So thank you so much and stay safe always. Bye.